Hello, it's Roland Rosebain from East Marsh Acres and welcome to mid-April. Anyways, we are inside and we are putting together a chicken tractor. A uh, chicken tractor essentially is a shelter a movable shelter that uh, uh, you can put chickens into and we are going to be putting 30 meat birds in there because uh, they're coming at the beginning of May. Did you get this? No, I did. <laughs> so say a few words about chicken tractors, right? We're building another one. <laughs> or I guess technically our other one wasn't a tractor, it's a shop, but like what's the difference? But the difference is that this is going to be for meat birds. And I guess they they stay in it. Right. Yeah. Versus venturing out. Right. Yeah. And so these are our building materials. So we've got uh, pressure treated uh, lumber, um, 12 footers, 10 footers, and 8 footers, and then some 1x6s uh, that we'll have to rip down, and some. Um, uh, electrical conduit that we will be bend bending and putting putting um, a tarp and uh, uh, some chicken wire over the top of it uh, to give uh, protection from predators. Um, the birds will never go into a uh, uh, a roosting section, they'll be always on the grass and we're hoping actually to be able to uh, put them out on the grass from our neighbors in that area once <laughs> all of the snow slash hail uh, disappears and uh, this is crazy. it's a little bit more uh, amenable to be out there. Um, apparently uh, according to the weather forecast we've got another week or so of coldish weather and then the temperatures start uh, climbing quite considerably. So by next week Friday uh, uh, six days from now, we should be into uh, a much better way <laughs> set of weather. Anyways, uh, we'll bring you along. I'll uh, record uh, what we're doing and uh, uh, you can uh, keep track as we do our build. basically done our whole cut list um, so all of the different pieces so that should make building the structure pretty quick now that we've got everything sorted and labeled that was key and then I think the thing that's taken us the longest is making the lap joints um, so you basically take out half of the 2 by 4 so it fits nicely in and we took out a notch in this one so we can make some nice sturdy joints that way and connect them. So that's basically the kind of joint that we'll be using for the whole structure, it seems like. Yeah. 
So we're gonna go have some lunch and charge our batteries, literally and figuratively. <laughs> um, and then we're gonna come back and build. It's still snowing just a little bit. Quite windy. Daffodils are out. Don't think I've showed those. Uh, Forsythia, uh, back in the background, is blooming away. Uh, and there's other little flowers around, but they're few and far between. Okay. All right, Mom. What are we up to? Okay, so we have cut all our wood. We've cut all the, what are they called, lap joints yesterday. Yep. So now, um, before we put it together, so we're going to put it together, we're going to just uh, round out this so when we're um, moving it around, it doesn't have as much friction. So it's more like a sled um, on the front. So I'm just using a round thing and marking there. So use a jigsaw. Okay, I was just gonna show you this Craig jig um, so we can make some 90 degree angles. Oh, mom's gonna hold the camera. Cut. Yeah, well done. Wait, you're, you know you're filming yourself right now. Oh. <laughs> Don't cut that, put that in. <laughs> okay, so we're using this Craig jig um, to put in some nice, I don't know what you call them like burrow, I don't know, burrows is what I'm going to call yeah, them. Yeah, I don't know. So you can do, um, join to 90 degree angle joints, um, so it makes the, the joints much more stable. Um, so I just had to remind myself how to use it um, by watching a YouTube video. Um, but essentially you measure the, the width of the wood that you're using. So for us it's a 2 by 4 so it's one and a half inches thick. Um, and then uh, they give you a drill bit um, that comes with the, the package and it's measured, it's uh, length is to one and a half uh, inches as well. So that's how far the, the holes will be drilled. And it's quite easy, it, you bring it right in and you go to the guard and then yeah, it essentially puts two nice little burrows in the wood for you and then you can screw into those see mm -hmm. you have to do the other side yet? yeah I have to do it. it again. Yeah. Oh yeah, glue. So we put the glue like on the end of this? Yep.
Hi, Trisha here from East Mar Shakers. Um, we're at the end of the Sunday build time that we set aside, and look what we have accomplished. We have a frame of our chicken tractor. So these are for our meat birds. So this is the, the door frame and the whole bottom. The next thing we're going to do is build a door to go in here, right in here, and we're going to put hardware cloth all around the edge, going around, around, and there. So that's to keep out predators on the bottom, the hardware cloth. And then we have some electrical conduit, and we're going to bend that and put it like hoops over there. And then we put chicken wire over that. So got a few more steps to do, but um, we've got the frame done. So uh, thanks for sticking with us in this project. Um, yeah, we've had to figure out a few things, and uh, we're we're our carpenter skills are getting better. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we'll talk to you soon. Yeah, Bye for now. On the scrap, subscribe. <laughs> And as Roland is saying, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, we'd love to have more subscribers. So click on that subscribe button and like the video. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye for now.